I've got two feet in the water, I got one hand in the air. Oh, won't you help me, Jesus, for I'm sinking in despair. <laughs> won't you save me, Jesus? <laughs> I'm drowning in my fear. <laughs> two feet in the water, I got one hand in the air. <laughs> Hey, I'm glad to see you could make it. You're just in time. You ever noticed when you start decorating a tree, you've got all this stuff around and you wonder exactly where it's all gonna go? And then when the tree's done, why, it turns out beautifully. Well, that's kind of the way Christmas was last year. Were you here for our community Christmas show last year? <laughs> you weren't. I don't think I could take another Christmas like that one. You see, Tom Bailey, our Sunday school superintendent, wanted to put on this program for the community. Well, things didn't quite go as planned. Get back here, hey, Elmo. Come on. You're supposed to be standing still back here. You're way too big to be doing this. Children, Mrs. Harper, where's the cow? Wise man, you're supposed to be worshiping the baby, not playing with the baby. Oh, Tom, are you having problems? Oh, Barbara. Yeah, but nothing's going right. I shouldn't be doing this. Oh, I mean, right. the camels are running wild. The wise men are playing with the baby, and, and now I can't even find the cow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Have you seen Grandpa Jim? He was supposed to be here a long time ago already. No, no, I haven't. I haven't. But since when has Grandpa Jim been on time for anything? I know, but maybe you can call the Branson police and see if they can find him okay. for me. I'll do that. I'll do that. Shepherds! Hi, Sergeant Collins. This is Barbara Fairchild over at the theater. Attention, all units. Be on the lookout for an old red and green truck. Make, model, and license number unknown. Occupant described as Grandpa Jim. White male, gray hair, mustache, and age unknown. Subject supposed to be in Branson for Christmas program and hasn't arrived. What seems to be the problem here? Are you all right? Oh. You okay? I'm sorry. Oh. I'm very sorry. Oh, well, that's... Help that, you up. That, that's okay. It, it happens all the time. What? You're knocking yourself out? Oh, no, no. My old truck catching on fire. Here, son, give me a hand up. Oh! Look here. Are, aren't you Grandpa Jim? How'd you know that? Am, am I wanted for something? You're supposed to be in Branson for a Christmas show. Oh, yeah, that's right, Branson. I'm supposed to be there. Yeah, I remember now, but how am I going to get there with my old truck like this? Sir, you know, I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I don't know. But listen, there are hundreds of children waiting down there in Branson for me to show up for this Christmas show. Son, you've got to help me get there. Look, because I have a car with a light on top, that doesn't make me a taxi. But, but you don't understand. Hey, you're from Branson? You, you could just give me a ride right down the road there to Branson. And, sir, this is a matter of life and death. It's what? It's a matter of life and death. Miss Barbara Fairchild, she told me. She said, Grandpa Jim, you better get to this Christmas show on time. Did Miss Fairchild thread you? Well, well, no, but she got, she got really serious. She said, she said, Grandpa Jim, you got to be here for this Christmas show, and you can't keep the children waiting. Look, I'm sorry. But I can't give you a ride to Branson. I'll tell you what I do. I'll call this tow truck, and we'll get this truck moved to the next time. But, but, but I'm not giving you a ride to Branson. But you don't, don't you care? Look, I care. But the only way I can give you a ride to Branson enough to throw a car is I got to put you under arrest. Well, that's no problem. You see, you see, I could use a rest. In fact, it's been a long time since I had a rest. In fact, there's a lot of people who'd like to see me have a rest. Listen, old man, I'm not giving you a ride. But look, I'll call somebody, but look, I'll do you a favor. I'll make a phone call and get some... Hey, but I'm not you giving you a ride. Don't you... But you don't care. No, I care, but I'm not giving you a ride. I'm not even going to put you in jail. No, call a Pony Express. Honey, if you will bring Grandpa Jim on over here to my theater, 
I will buy the police department little league program all new uniforms. Miss Fairchild, you're not trying to bribe me, are you? Bribe you? John, I'm trying to help you. You're trying to help me? Yes, believe me, I have known Grandpa Jim for a long, long time. And if my memory serves me right, he should just about be getting his guitar out about this time. And I suggest you get him over here right away. What are you doing back there, old man? Hey, you don't have to buy kid, please. Oh, down. Oh, oh, wait. What? Oh, Tom, there you are. I've got good news. I just spoke to the police officer that's picked up Grandpa Jim, and he's on his way over here. Police officer? Is Grandpa Jim under arrest? Well, no, not yet. <laughs> but listen, I'm going to go out front and tell the children that Grandpa Jim's on his way. Then I'm going to sing my Christmas tree song for him. Wise man, where did you put the baby? <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. I'm Barbara Fairchild, and I'd like to welcome you to my theater. Now, I know we're running a little bit late tonight, but Grandpa Jim had car trouble, and so he's on his way over here with a nice policeman who's giving him a ride right now. <laughs> And we have a great show for you tonight, and I'd like to begin by asking this question. How many of you have one of these in your home? <laughs> Do you know that if you look hard enough, you can find the story of baby Jesus in that tree? Listen. A star of glory overhead Like the one the Holy Father Placed o'er his manger bed 